This is the town where I imagine myself in your bed. Holding the You Are Dead sign, I stole from the Out of Body Experience Hospital, where the electrical stimulation to my brain gave me the sensation of being hugged. I did touch all the right combinations of prison cell bricks for 18 years because I posed for photos with my thumbs up near my armpits. My body dweller said this would happen, that I would be transported back to this world, to this reward. As transients with useless mouths copulate, mayflies turn into mayfly satellite imagery, neon green, and it's true here too. To explain what I was then, all it took was a couple of hours of missing time for them to film all my news segments for the entire year. Remember how at the abandoned cotton gin, before the kids were murdered by other people, I told you I saw the burning gas field set on fire by the Soviets 40 years ago, your bedroom exactly as it was in 1974, and what came from the undamaged parts of my eyes. A spider crawling by pretending to be two ants fighting, its fangs disguised as another full body. That made you love me. My life and body then were just one of the lives and bodies I told the doctor he couldn't see. He said half of me burned in the crash, and I forgot the other versions of myself were supposed to be perfect to show him he was wrong. Think of me. I'll be eating packs of Kool-Aid, waiting in your bushes so we can lock eyes while I scream bitch. The Mayfly satellites calibrating themselves on the damaged parts of my eyes. I'm already projecting myself into your doorway by asking, what's this thing that has left my body? But until then, here's the hoping that the nightgown fibers I planted in the woods to frame you are still here. I need them to perform Reiki on the transients I mutilate, since the conditions of my release require me to stay employed. No, I mean so I can be near something you touched. I'm getting closer to receiving what a wrongly imprisoned God deserves. <laughs>